So I came to Rico to see the uh, our development kit because I'm kind of interested in the future of 360 photography and videography and ended up spending about half an hour with this rig. This rig is basically the uh, our development kits, which is optimized, uh, let's say, interface-wise for, for streaming. So it's got HDMI out. Actually, it's got a USB link on this where you can actually, from software, control things like color, oh. contrast, brightness. So oh, live, live, live uh, tuning is pretty good. Um, so this is the R development kit, 499. It's got uh, USB in for power. It's got HDMI out. It's uh, an equirectangular pre-stitched image coming out on HDMI. So what they've done is they've just basically hooked up this uh, Live Shell X live streaming box, tethered over LTE on this uh, on this here, and uh, this is live chat on on the actual I think on the video, yeah, on the video where we just had like a big run round Hall Eight here, just uh, checking stuff out. There's a, some chat going on in the background, but anyway, just to go back to this, so we've got this probably doing an RTMP, sorry, RTSP stream out to uh, out to YouTube. Uh, powered by a little external battery as well. Um, interesting thing about this, it looks clunky, but what you've got here is something extremely, extremely unique. I'd say under three kilos, and mobile battery power of, well, I'm guessing a couple of hours, maybe three hours. This has been running for four hours here already, but they've got it powered up uh, behind the unit. So uh, yeah, there's a quick look behind the unit. That's the streaming unit. It's the back of the 360. So remember, we're sending out a 360 live stream um, at just sub full HD. It's 10, uh, 1920 by 960 is the resolution. Not fantastic for not fantastic for uh, headsets to be honest, because you're looking at a very small portion of a full HD screen. But interesting when you get to YouTube, where you're actually able to do this. And I think the um, there we are on uh, YouTube right now actually able to see a pretty interesting solution. So I'm just thinking like mobile journalists here, uh, event coverage, concerts, um, behind the scenes stuff. If you're, in, if you're like a, let's say, startup, right? You're looking to create some cool stuff on social media, get this going behind the scenes, just run through your office, talk to all the devs, talk to the CEO, talk to the CTO, and they can't hide anything, right? If you do it right, that's it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> was also, Running around the uh, running around Hall Eight, and I bumped into uh, Candy, who's got uh, Snapchat glasses on. Hi, Candy. Hi. Um, what's your Snapchat name again? Candy. Oh, Can I that. I think it's Candy Girl. Candy Girl with an eye. With you can see that? There are the there are the Snapchat uh, and glasses. I'm snapping you as well. She's snapping me as well. There's a whole orgy of live streaming going on right. and, and Satya is also interested in the 360 area. Oh. Bumped into him, we've just been talking about like 4K and the next stuff and you, would be awesome. you, you're, you're looking at that, right? Yeah. yeah. Looking at... Uh, so, having worked with all the different 360 cameras... Let me just, uh, let me just move the mic, okay. mic towards you. So, having worked with all the 360 cameras below $1,000, the Ryko has an amazing form factor because exactly. both lenses are so close together the stitching is much better than any other camera where the lenses are far apart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So high hopes that once they bring out the 4K, it's going to rock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's already good now. Well, they won't tell us when the 4K is going, but obviously it's got to be on their de uh, development plan. They told me they're going to the North American Wireless Association event. I think it's in April or May. They have to say something about 4K then. If they don't say something then, there's going to be other people stepping into the 4K arena. So that's just a brief look at the uh, Rico our, our development kit hitched up to a live streaming platform over LTE. And if you look at the Rico website, you'll see the couple of a couple of live streams listed there. Actually, they'll probably be finished by the time you watch this video. You better play back. You look at I think about about three hours into the video, you'll find me walking around Hall A. So that's it. My name's Jimmy at the Rico R Development Kit booth here in Hall 8 at Mobile World Congress. Thanks for watching.